What's going on everybody? Quaker here, back with another video. It's been a long time since I made a video last, I think it was around this time last year. Um, like I said, a lot has happened, and especially in the Microsoft area, we now have to stay at home and all this stuff. But this video, I'm digging deep into Windows 10X, kind of deep. I'm actually going to be looking into the app launcher or the start menu of Windows 10X um, and just see how it works and just in comparison to Windows 10s. Let's take a look. Today, I'm going to take a look at the Windows 10X emulator. It's actually running version 19, 19578. It is a preview version because obviously it is not out yet. Um, you need to actually have Windows 10 Pro to have it because of the Hyper-V. You need to have an Intel CPU with Windows 10 Pro uh, Hyper-V support in order to run this emulator otherwise it works perfectly fine i'm running this here on a razor blade 15 advanced model 2019 um and yeah i'm going to take a look at the uh the app launcher uh of this program here or this os as you can call it and one thing before i start doing this thing uh i'll let you know that uh microsoft about two weeks ago i think it was two weeks ago or last week they announced that they are actually postponing the release of Windows 10X, and I think the Service Neo was the device that was attached to it. Um, they're releasing, they're postponing that until sometime in 2021. Um, not sure why, most likely we already know why, which is this virus stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's dig in. All right, so right here we have here the Windows 10X. You can see my mouse cursor goes across both screens. You see that, that you see two mice probably. But look at the one underneath. You see it uh, goes underneath both screens. And here, it, this line here is actually the app launcher. So if you click the start, you can see here this is what you're going to see when you launch Windows 10X. Um, and you go into your what you call your start menu or app launcher, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what you're going to see. Now, note that I am running this on a mouse and keyboard setup because I do not have a touch screen Windows device, crazy, right? Um, do not have a touchscreen mouse, a, mount, a touchscreen device to run this thing. Otherwise, I would use my fingers to see how it really works with a touchscreen. But you should, you're able to actually swipe up to get the um, get to get the screen running and everything like that. Uh, but I have to actually just click on you know the button, the start button, in order to get it working. And this here is what I'm talking about by the apps launcher. The apps launcher is pretty straightforward. It's got a bunch of great of icons here, simple icons, similar to what Microsoft is, I bet, trying to do with Windows 10 now, where they're getting rid of the tiles. Um, and see, there's no tiles here. They just have their maps, weather, settings, get help, uh, sticky notes, file explorer, camera, calculator, alarms and clock, movies and TV, Microsoft Store, photos, calendar, mail, and Microsoft Edge. That's the... Those, these are the more recent, and since I haven't clicked on anything on it, these are what are going to show up for most people first. If I hit show all, you can see everything that I have installed here, including things installed from the Microsoft Store. So you can see here, they have a little bit more. I don't remember what I said, but now they have Snip and Sketch. They have uh, Voice Recorder, Groove Music, uh, People, Notepad, Feedback Hub. Anything that's in beta for Microsoft will always include a Feedback Hub. So you always have um, an option to report feedback for that. The File Explorer, uh, OneDrive, and then they have Tips, uh, Windows Security, Whiteboard is something I installed, and they have a video editor. And if you scroll down, you see I have files here, you know, some simple files, one from school. Um, and that's about it. And when you click it, it opens up the Microsoft Word um, for Windows 10X. So what I'm going to do is, in this video is just kind of, just kind of go through your average your average day running the, I think the Surface Neo was the device, I'm not sure. Uh, your average day running the device. So what they want you to do is you, for some reason, you need two screens for a mobile thing. Maybe, I think they said Windows 10X is mainly for productivity. It's not for like the average person that walks into a Best Buy and just says, I want a computer or I want a phone. They, this is pretty much for people who are like that kind of business person where they're like, oh man, I need to check an email on one side, which... Um, I'm not going to click on my email because in case something pops up, but we'll go to calendar let's say you need to have the calendar, which wasn't installed yet. And then see it's popping up. This is pretty much the same calendar that's on windows 10. You see, it wants me to add a thing, but I'm not going to, uh, so go to calendar and you can see it is loading. And once you see here, you got your calendar. 
it's the same what you're usual what you're pretty much used to in uh windows 10 you can change a bunch of things you can do whatever it is you want to do calendar settings um i'm looking for that dark mode really is what i'm doing can't find the dark mode i'll find it later but you got your calendar and then if you want you can swipe up here you know and it jumps it there or you can click it again click it and it comes up again uh, or if you want to say do task view you can see what tasks you have open just like windows 10 um, and then you can go back to that app launcher or start menu and open up another thing let's say i want a full screen calculator for some reason and then let's see i have the windows 10 ish or sorry 10x uh calculator which again doesn't really it it doesn't really make sense to me why you would have a full screen calculator on this device. But of course, the screen is a lot smaller. You're seeing this on a laptop screen on a second monitor blown up to like 27 inches. Um, but you're going to eventually essentially run it on like the size of an iPhone screen um, or a little bigger than maybe a Galaxy Note 10 plus screen, but have two of them side by side. Uh, but you can see it's pretty much the same thing. And it's it's pretty straightforward. And if you want to close it, you can open up the app launcher again it's there's not much to see here honestly um it's a pretty straightforward video i could probably do this in like five minutes um in fact i'm about to end it right now but yeah it's it's a pretty straightforward interface there's not much hidden dig you know dug in um i'll dig in more to see more about dark themes and things like that because i know that's a big trendy thing nowadays let's see weather i'm sure it's gonna install and there we go so we have the same thing weather and everything like that so yeah if you enjoyed this video and i know my phone is ringing uh if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and uh let me know what you think of windows 10x and if uh i'll have some other things coming up later on this phone ringing just kind of distracted me for a second but yeah my name is kwaku and thanks for watching take care